Hey scholars, all right, so let's get to work on this application problem for Wednesday. And in this story, we have Melanie and she is designing a label for her book that she just wrote. The dimensions of the label are three and one half by one and one fourth. We have two questions we're trying to answer. What is the area of the label? What is the perimeter of the label? So let's think about this, right? So Melanie's designing this label for her book and the dimensions of the label are three and a half by one and one fourth. So if I think about here's my label, right? Remember the label's gonna fit in the book. Um, and let me actually make it a little more realistic. Let's say it's three and a half by one and one fourth. I know that's not perfect, but it's all right. Three and one half by one and one fourth. So there are two things I'm looking for, right? I'm looking for the area of the label and I'm looking for the perimeter of the label. Now, the area is what we've been working on a lot, right? Area is I need to do length times width. So in this case, it would be doing three and a half times one one and one fourth, right? But we've already talked about this a bit. If you are struggling with this, if you have any questions, either come to office hours or watch any of the videos on module five, lesson 10 concept development or module five, lesson 11 concept development. And that will walk you through how to find area. Now for perimeter, that's a little different. The perimeter is all of the outside Right, so it's this, 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 and this. That's what perimeter is. It's like if I was walking along the outside of, if you have a tiny little baby ant or you're shrunk down to a tiny size and you're walking the edges of this label. So what you have to do is you have to figure out, well, how long is this? Plus how long is this? Plus how long is this? Plus how long is this? Now, if you remember what we said earlier, we talked about this on Monday, but whatever this side is, because it's a rectangle, this will also be the same. So this will be three and a half. And whatever this side is, because it's a rectangle, this will also be the same. So it's gonna be one and one fourth. So to figure out the perimeter, all I gotta do, <clears throat> excuse me, is add all of these together. So I'm adding three and a half, plus three and a half plus one and one fourth plus one and one fourth. And what I'm actually gonna do, is that because I'm adding these, is I can do it in any order I want. So I'm actually gonna add first all of the whole numbers. plus, 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 three plus three is six, seven, eight. So all of the whole numbers together, this is gonna be eight. I'm just gonna move them closer together, sort of to help me. Right, um, and now I can add my fraction numbers. So this all together, this is eight. Now one half plus one half, well, that's nice, that's easy. That's a whole. So I can actually take this and I'm gonna add it over here in a minute. And then I still have to add a fourth and a fourth. Remember when I'm adding fractions, if my denominator is the same, I don't have to change anything. Um, so one fourth plus one fourth, just this part now, right? I'm just working on this, is going to be, my denominator is gonna stay the same. Then I add my numerators one plus one is two. So now I have the one half and one half is one, the one fourth and one fourth is two fourths, and I'm gonna add that to the eight that I had before. So now I have eight plus one is nine plus two fourths. So my perimeter is going to be, and I'll do it in the pink color, is going to be nine, that's a, not a, very legible nine 
9 and 2 fourths. So the way I found the perimeter again is I added all of the sides together. All right. Sounds good. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope it made sense. I'll see you later, scholars. Bye.